We are with the 20th juz, inshallah. And I will skip Surah al naml now and I'll start with Surah Al-Qasas, a couple of ayahs maybe that uh, we can talk about ayah number five in Surah Al-Qasas. Number five, Allah says, ونريد أن نمن على الذين استضعفوا في الأرض ونجعلهم أئمة ونجعلهم الوارثين which means we shall show our grace on those who have been oppressed oppressed on earth and we shall make them the leaders and we shall make them the inheritors and this ayah here gives a uh, light of hope that no matter how the night is long, the day will shine. And also, not that just the sunshine will come, but also that life is, has to go through these phases. First, there has to be tests and trials, and then in order for establishment and inheritance to happen. Without mihna, there is no minha. Without trials and difficulties, there will be no inheritance. And that's the whole point here as well. If we go to uh, ayah number 13, Allah speaks about Musa alayhi salatu wasalam here in ayah number 12, where he says, وَحَرَّمْنَا عَلَيْهِ الْمَرَاضِعِ So Musa alayhi salatu wasalam's mother threw him in the river, and he was picked up by the palace of uh, Pharaoh and now they're looking for someone to nurse him or breastfeed him. But Allah says, وَحَرَّمْنَا عَلَيْهِ الْمَرَاضِعَ مِنْ قَبْلِ But we've made all breastfeeding of, for Musa forbidden. We've prohibited any pre breastfeeding. So they would bring him but he would not take anyone. He would not accept even though being a baby. فَقَالَتْ so his sister says, هَلْ أَدُلُّكُمْ عَلَىٰ أَهْلِ بَيْتَيْ يَكْفُلُونَهُ لَكُمْ وَهُمْ لَهُ نَاصِحُونَ I have some people, let's try them. They're really good people. And they're prob they probably can do this. They can breastfeed him and raise him. Obviously, she's taking him back to his own mother. Allah says in this ayah number 13, فَرَدَدْنَاهُ إِلَىٰ أُمَّهِ كَيْ تَقَرَّ عِنُهَا وَلَا تَحْزَنَ so we returned him back to his parent, to his mother, so that her eye is pleased and that her heart is not saddened. And so that she knows that the promise of Allah is truth. But most people do not know. And this ayah is not that she, that Allah Azza wa Jal showed us how he returned Musa alayhi salam to his mother. It also shows us that the happiness of parents is when they have their children and their good, pious children around them. And it's sometimes amazing when we say growing up means you need to be separate from your parents. And um, that's not how the Quran made this, is displaying the depicting the happiness of the mother or of the parent. Allah says, فَرَدَدْنَاهُ إِلَىٰ أُمَّهِ كَيْ تَقَرَّ وَلَا تَحْزَن So that her eye is pleased by seeing her son with her and, and, and with her and that her heart is also pleased. And I think that's very important. I'll say another thing here also in ayah number 20. Where Allah says, وَجَاءَ رَجُلٌ مِّنْ أَقْصَ الْمَدِينَةِ يَسْعَى And in Yaseen, وَجَاءَ مِنْ أَقْصَ الْمَدِينَةِ رَجُلٌ يَسْعَى So the ayah is almost similar. And which means a man came from the far end of the city, running. And Al-Quran did not say the name of the man. Not in Surah Al-Qasas, not in Surah Yaseen. وَجَاءَ مِنْ أَقْصَ الْمَدِينَةِ رَجُلٌ يَسْعَى in Surah Yaseen. وَجَاءَ رَجُلٌ مِّنْ أَقْصَ الْمَدِينَةِ يَسْعَى in Surah Al-Qasas A man came running to the aid of truth. The man's name is not important. What does that mean? The name is not important. The mission is. And those who fight about names will never get anything. They will not get a name, nor will they get a mission. 
Allah Azza wa Jal tells us, وَجَاءَ رَجُلٌ مِنْ أَقْصَ الْمَدِينَةِ يَسْعَى This man is made everlasting now in the Qur'an, but without his name, with his action and mission. And that's really what, what is important here. Especially, يَسْعَى means he's running in the line of da'wah. He's calling, he's helping with the messengers. And with helping in the messengers, it ought to be actually وَجَاءَ رَجُلٌ مِنْ أَقْصَى الْمَدِينَةِ يَسْعَى أو وَجَاءَ مِنْ أَقْصَى الْمَدِينَةِ رَجُلٌ يَسْعَى without anything attached to it. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows. And the last one I'll mention here is uh, ayah number 25. Or oh, ayah number 24, let's start with that. Ayah number 24 is when, I, uh, when, Afwan, when Musa alayhi salatu was salam went to Madian. So he now left he left Egypt, he went to وَلَمَّا تَوَجَّهَتِ الْقَاءَ مَدِيًا أَقَالَ عَسَى رَبِّي أَنْ يَهْدِيَنِي سَوَاءَ السَّبِيلِ He went to Madian and he saw these people on a well of water and he saw two women and, uh, you know, they're trying to fetch some water and he says, Allah says, فَسَقَى لَهُمَا ثُمَّ تَوَلَّ إِلَى الظِّلِ So he did not want them to stand and wait and all that. Musa alayhi salatu was salam went and got the water for them and he went to the shade and he said this dua فَقَالَ as Allah says in Surah in Qasas 24 فَقَالَ رَبِّ إِنِّي لِمَا أَنزَلْتَ إِلَيَّ مِنْ خَيْرٍ فَقِيرٍ Ya Allah, I am needy in all that which you will give me. And that's all he said. And as a consequence, Rabban Musa والسلام, was running from Egypt. This is a new territory. He has nothing there, does not have a job, does not have anything, does not have any money. So Allah Azza wa Jal with this then, as a consequence, he gave him by saying, by displaying the faqr. It's not the words necessarily. Obviously the words are special because they're in the Quran. But it's not about just saying things. And oftentimes people ask for, can, I, can you give me a dua that does, uh, that does it? It's your hal, it's your state of heart with Allah Azza wa Jal. The state of truthfulness with Allah Azza wa Jal, that's what gets you going with Allah. Not the words that you utter, except the Quran, obviously it's his kalam. Lakin, in general, it is your state. You speak to Allah with your heart and speak all you want so long you're transparent. But lip service doesn't do it. And uh, therefore he says, uh, Sayyidina Musa here, he's displaying his absolute need before Allah. Inni lima anzalta ilayya min khayrin faqeer. Ya Allah, I am absolutely needy. I don't have anything and I'm all reliant on you. And he did not say give me, he just said I am needy. And notice the difference between saying give me, give me, give me and saying Ya Allah, I am just needy for whatever you give. Right? And there is a difference between a, an approach of demand an approach of displaying weakness and helplessness before Allah Azza wa Jal. That's the point here. As a consequence, Allah provided him a job with Shu'aib alayhi salam and then uh, made his marriage come easy as well, right? And then he honored him with the prophecy, made him a prophet after that. So you've got all these three things happening, right? Uh, on For Musa alayhi salatu was salam, uh, as a consequence of that. And that's why this ayah, many of the scholars say, you repeat it if you need to find a job, if you need to get married, etc., etc. So you may do that. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alihi wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.